Hi, everyone. It's Leslie Rohde, along with Judy Maggio of ATX Good News, and we have some exciting news to tell you about. We certainly do. ATX Good News is partnering with the Austin Gifts Project at the Austin Chamber of Commerce. And we think our missions align so beautifully because we're both all about shining the light on folks in the community who are giving back, who are spreading joy and volunteering. And we are so happy that Bobby Jenkins of ABC Home and Commercial Services is joining us now. He is chair of Austin Gives at the Chamber. Thanks for being with us, Bobby. Leslie, good to see you, Judy. Great to be with you guys. Thanks for having us. Well, let's give people an overview, Bobby. Tell us about Austin Gives and, and really what it's meant for the city since it started. Yeah, thanks, Judy. You know, Austin Gives is a uh, program from the Greater Austin Chamber of Commerce, and I'm really proud of it. It, it is a way for the business community, the chamber, to really put a spotlight and recognize businesses giving back, philanthropy. We actually learned about Austin Gives or created it about 11 years ago when we saw a program kind of similar to it in uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul called the Keystone Program. So we kind of made it our own program here at the chamber. And it's a, like I said, it's a program of the chamber. And it's real simple. A, a company commits to give back 1% of their profits to charity. We don't care who they give their, their uh, money to, but that they invest in the community to make the community better. And so I'm real proud that we've got this kind of spotlight and we've got this. The idea, quite frankly, is to create a culture in our community, in the business community that says, well, that's just how we do it. That's what business does here in Austin, Texas. We give back. We help others. We are all engaged in making Austin, Texas, Central Texas, a better place for all. We understand that culture is sort of our mission at ATX Good News, too, of highlighting people who are doing good in the community. Let's talk more about businesses doing good. There's got to be so many benefits for business owners in this, Bobby. You know, Leslie, I'm a, I'm a big believer of that being the exact case. And the way I kind of phrase it or think about it in my own mind is there's kind of like three big things that happen when a business gives back, right? So one, even if, be it if they write a check or they donate their time or talent, the, the charity that they're giving to benefits, right? They, they, they need that support. They need that help. So that's good. I'll also say that the other thing that happens when a company has a culture of giving back, the people who work at that company, they just feel that much more proud about that company. And when they have the opportunity to go volunteer together, to go do work together as a group, that, that engagement is absolutely the best thing that could possibly happen to a company. We know how young people really care about giving back and they want to be associated with purpose, companies that have a purpose. So that's, that's that piece. So the benefit internally is big. And then I think this is OK, too. I, I think it's a good thing that businesses tell their story about philanthropy and what they give to. And I think it's a good thing for the public to see that because I submit that, uh, that the public, consuming public, you know, all things being equal, I think a lot of people would rather do business with a company that does give back and does have a commitment to making our community a better place. So, you know, the wins are all over there when you think about doing good, giving, you know, doing good is good business, as you guys have said, and it really does. It makes the company better. It builds the culture within it, and it's truly good for business. So this really is a win-win situation. And I know that you all would like to get more local businesses, large and small, involved in Austin Gives. And there's a pledge drive happening. Tell us about the pledge drive and really how people can get engaged with Austin Gives. Yeah, you know, Judy, it really is. It is a matter of, I said, it, it's spreading the word, getting the word out, creating that culture. And so we've come up with this 1% pledge drive. And it's like I said earlier, it is a simple commitment that a company agrees and commits to give 1% of their profits back to charity. So the 1% drive, and it really is a way to get more businesses to stand up and say, yep, I submit this. I think there's thousands and thousands and thousands of businesses that are already doing that, right? Well, you know what? Let's share that with everybody. Let's tell the public that businesses are giving back. They are being leaders when it comes to philanthropy. We are working to make our community better. So this drive is to let's put a light on all of those that are doing that. And I think that if we, we do that, it really does create, I keep saying it, that culture, that groundswell, that businesses lead the way, that businesses are really committed 
to making our community a better place. I think when we do that, everybody benefits. And it really is something to be proud of. And I'm also very, very proud that the Greater Austin Chamber of Commerce has this kind of initiative. And like I said, we've been doing it for 11 years. We want to keep pushing, 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 because with the more people that are engaged or involved and take that pledge, the better we're all going to be. Amen, Bobby. And you can tell your passion for yeah. this project that is obviously near and dear to your heart. So we thought you'd be the perfect person to announce this partnership and tell everybody about Austin Gives. We've put the Austin Chamber of Commerce website up. So really all you need to do if you want to get involved in Austin Gives is mm -hmm. click on there, go to the Austin Gives little tab and you'll find out how your company or business can be part of this. Thank you so much, Bobby, for sharing all of your insight today. And, and as I said, we love that we are partners now on this project because we both want to give people who are giving back to the community some recognition and say, look what they're doing. Others can do it. And as you said, cultivate that generosity in Austin, Texas. Well, you guys, I just want to tell you all how much I appreciate y'all. Um, both of you guys are, are such leaders in this community and it is a perfect partnership. And it is the, it's, it's a, that synergistic piece where the more of us are talking about these things, we really do develop that culture. So, you know, ATX Good News and, uh, and Austin Gives and the Chamber, perfect fit. So thank you so much uh, for working with us and, and helping all of us get that good word out there to the public. And we want to remind all of you watching to look for future interviews that we'll be doing here on ATX Good News, highlighting some of these purpose-driven businesses. And also, we have to remind you to follow ATX Good News on Instagram and YouTube now. We've got all sorts, all sorts of good news to share with you there including this new partnership with Austin Gives. Thanks so much for being with us today and make it a great day.